Great news everyone, I've got a new place and this is it. Pretty awesome, right? It's like a super villain lair, only not in a hollow out mountain on a private island. I looked at that, decided it was a bit tacky. As most of you know, my rent went up 50%, so I needed to find some place new to live and work. This was a lot more tricky than it seems. First, we don't really have live work loft spaces where you can use tools in Shenzhen. It's just not a thing here. I looked at a few where it was a small factory space and an apartment a few blocks away. The more I looked at it, then thought about potential safety issues, the worse an idea it seemed. I'm really, really lucky. I've never had a generally bad experience with stalkers or anything like that. I have good situational awareness. I have someone who goes places with me if I need. And while I like going out for a drink, I get up before 7 every, every day so I tend to live well before people start to get drunk and rowdy. But I've noticed that things are changing. When I go out these days, a lot more people seem to know me now. And even those who don't know me are paying more attention than they used to, which I'm okay with and mostly enjoy. But I have to take these changes into account when I think about safety and living arrangements. A predictable route between an apartment and a workshop, going back and forth at all hours, day and night, given how I look, in a manufacturing district with transient worker population with little CCTV coverage. As safe as Shenzhen is, maybe not such a great idea. You can only roll the dice so many times and it's not practical to have someone walk me back and forth every time I need to get go into the workshop. So I decided pretty early it would need to be a single leave and work location and that location would need to be pretty secure in case anyone decided to visit. Unfortunately, you can't live in commercial property, the Suning regulations are quite strict, but you can run a business in some kinds of home. Shenzhen is a very business friendly city. That's the whole reason Deng Xiaoping dreamed it up, but it's not so friendly to home renters. Rents are astronomical for China and not because there's a lot of space, it's because for most Chinese, property is primarily a store of wealth like stocks. Often owners are content to let them sit empty. Sometimes they rent them out just to make a little money until they sell them and buy another, which they do constantly. Because of this, as a tenant, you don't have a lot of rights. If you remember Scotty Allen, strange parts, he got evicted with almost no notice from his apartment for no reason. And this is very common. With all my tools and machines, I could never find a place on short notice and I would lose any work I put into the place. Often they keep your two months deposit also because the standard list lets them claim just about any reason to do so. Landlords are not motivated to rent since there are no property taxes so potential tenants like me aren't in the best position to bargain with them. I need a place that I could live and work and a landlord that would sign the lease my lawyer wrote to protect me, not the standard one that is awful for tenants. It also could not be an apartment or a joining house since I want some pretty noisy tools. This has taken the last few months and is why I've been so busy. The most important lesson I learned during this is that for a small business person, lawyers are awesome. I will find a place I love, be ready to sign, show my lawyer the contract and it will be all, don't sign that. He was right of course. A lot of places really try to take advantage of me. Some will require me to pay massive compensation if the owner decided there was minor damage. Some of the people who claimed to be the owner were not and it was held by proxy but they would not have the actual legal owner sign the list. Really shady stuff. I look at about 60 places, 10 could work with, 3 were legitimate and would sign my list. This was the best of those and I worked really really hard to get it because 
I bargained for weeks while it's at the absolute limit of my budget and I'm probably going to select upstairs to some friends. I finally have rooms for all the tools and projects I've been dreaming of showing all of you. It's still technically in the city of Shenzhen, but it's a bit remote, but not so far that meetings and stuff are inconvenient. It's not quite one of those Chinese ghost developments you hear about, but not far from it. But I would do fine with an electric bicycle. I'm going to have to do a lot of work. It's in pretty rough shape. There's no kitchen or hot water yet, but even if I rent out upstairs, it's very large with rooms to really grow my channel with serious machine tools. The outside is also in much better shape than the inside so at least i don't think lids will be a problem my videos will be a little less polished for the next few months as i slowly make improvements i'm going to try to do as much of that myself as i can i can but some stuff like electrical or installing a hot water heater i am going to hire someone to deal with it's just not safe or sensible for me to do that on my own. I'm also going to need to buy some good electrical hand tools for the renovations. It makes sense to buy something decent since I can reveal them when I use them and maybe make a big bag of affiliate links. Worth a try at least. I might ask with some help later buying some tools, but right now I have it under control. Okay, let me show you some of the rooms I've already cleaned up. The rest are a bit shabby and embarrassing, so I don't want to show them yet. So the workers have been cleaning up for the last... Uh, from yesterday. Uh, today they are still cleaning. All the rooms are empty. The AC are pretty old. Yesterday, the uh, cleaning guy told me that the AC must be must have been ten years old. But at least they got all the dirt out. And there is the balcony. Oh, so hot outside. And these are my neighbors. Oh, that's where I uh, just sat down and talked. And look at those, these windows, these big windows have, like because I don't have the curtain right now, it's so sunny, it should be good for filming. And I think this will be the <laughs> meeting room for me. And up here, that's, um, the last winter's logo and this should be my meeting room and on each floor there is a bathroom this is also an empty room I think this should be a storage room for my machine tools the workers take off all the windows to clean it out they're professional but uh, <laughs> oh, the bathroom is a little bit rough because there is no see there is no leak on each bath, uh, toilet. I don't know why. I, oh, I definitely need to buy um, the lid for every uh, bathroom. Oh, this one has a lid. But each one, let me tell you, each toilet, they're different. They're different brand. I don't know why. And they also have the OAZ. This video is made possible by the generous support of JLC PCB, China's largest PCB manufacturer. With JLC, you can have your PCB manufactured in under 24 hours, or while you track the process in real time. Prototype boards start at just $2 in any color. Check the description box for more info. One of the best ways to support me is to support the companies that fund this channel. Okay, that's it for your sneak peek at my new place. Pretty awesome, right? I've got to get back to work or I'll never get it fixed up. I'll see you all next time.
So right now I am in the apartment. Um, it's pretty hot in here. Uh, it's all empty and uh, the kitchen is not fixed. And a lot of things are not done yet. So um, I just bring a couple of stuff here. And I'm going to leave it with, like, with a cut and a pot. Like for a couple of days. I know it's tiring, like definitely tiring for me. But I'm determined to do this. I'm determined to, you know, Go my channel and do this. I think everybody go for the same thing. Uh, probably not as dramatic as me, but uh, it's pretty hot in here. And well, I got a you know, but I got this place to work with. You know, for an ordinary girl, this is something. Probably not anything for you, but it's something for me. So they are breaking the glass. So it's also raining right now. Oh my god, I stepped on some glasses. And uh, you know I showed you the glasses before. And that's almost... Right, it's all smashed. So the AC wasn't working. And I feel so bad because the workers, they're so hard working. And it was... We were all sweaty and... I can't, you know... I feel like a little bit dizzy and I could probably get sick um, my voice is you know so I have to get some air outside so I went outside and now I'm looking for AC so that I could uh, and it's also raining and I don't have an umbrella oh, shit. I didn't have a proper kitchen or there's no kitchen I have to wait till the worker to assemble it and uh, usually you know when people come here come to my apartment to help me assemble stuff or put stuff up in my apartment usually i will ship them a meal i will cook for them myself you know show the proper hospitality but today isn't the day and i feel so bad the worker has been working so hard um but i did order some food for them and hopefully they enjoy the meal and maybe uh, next time when they come by I, I can cook them a proper meal uh, when my kitchen is all you know installed and stuff